We have seen the results for the Mac Mini M4 and M4 Pro and today we are going to take a look at DaVinci Resolve and if it's worth it to upgrade from a older Mac Mini or even a Mac Studio with the M1 Max. Now the project that I'm going to show you is a timeline 4K 16 minutes. This was a real project that we did about one year and a half ago with several multi-camera layers with files from the Sony ZV-1, ZV-10, iPhone 11 Pro, Google Pixel 8a, DJI Action 4. Now this was the first project that my older son Daniel, a huge thumbs up for him, did on the Mac Mini with the Vinci Resolve. So I was really proud of him. Now iPhone 11 Pro because it was the phone and actually Google Pixel 8a as well because this project was about one year and a half ago. It is a heavy project so I decided to grab it back and measure against all these four machines and show you the results. One really important thing is that the timeline, the way that we work is more important than the rendering time. So have in mind when you are watching videos that usually just pass to that side of the screen the times that we get rendering but one of the issues that we did find back then and even today is that building the project on the M1 the workflow on the timeline was not very good so we had to change settings and then at the end revert those settings so that we could export the timeline at 4k full resolution with all the bells and whistles. Now with the M4 and M4 Pro one of the things that we will notice and even with my Mac Studio is that you will have no issues whatsoever in terms of working with the timeline unlike the M1 which did struggle. Now in terms of rendering times what we did get was with the M1 Max 7 minutes and 42 seconds, M4 Pro 7 minutes and 49 seconds, so a bit delay here, M4 with 8 minutes and 38 seconds, M1 with 9 minutes and 38 seconds. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. So should I upgrade the M1s to the M4 or M4 Pro and if we look at the rendering times then the answer should be no I don't need but the truth is that we will get a boost in performance not on rendering times but when we are working in the timeline. Now if you want to use Final Cut then I will leave the link down below where you can see my results with actual projects that I use here on a daily basis and it's a complete different story because it is completely optimized for these devices and it's my tool of choice when using a Mac to edit videos. But if you are using any other computer with DaVinci Resolve, even a Windows computer and you are thinking about acquiring one of these machines, I would say that you can get an M1 and it's totally possible to work with some limitations. But at this moment the smarter choice in my opinion it is the base model M4 which will give you great results. You will not notice any difference in terms of these projects working with the M4 or the M4. Pro or even the M1 Max. We will notice and some other tasks CPU based but I will leave that for another video. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.